Welcome, my name is Marco and I'm an Aerospace Engineering PhD student at the University of Michigan's Multidisciplinary Design Optimization Laboratory. Thank you for visiting our virtual booth. Our project is called Control Co-Design Optimization Framework with Mixed Fidelity Fluid and Structure Analysis. As a part of this project, my presentation focuses on the high fidelity aerostructural modeling and optimization capabilities. The aim of our research is to develop a computationally efficient optimization framework for design of floating offshore wind turbines. Our specific aim is to utilize high fidelity aerostructural tools and to derive reduced order models directly from these high fidelity tools. Our project is executed by a multidisciplinary team consisting of Rutgers University, University of Michigan, Brigham Young University, and NREL as primary partners. We are also collaborating with the National Technical University of Norway and the Technical University of Denmark. The University of Michigan team leads the development of the high fidelity aerostructural modeling and optimization modules. Our main goal is to demonstrate the feasibility and effectiveness of high fidelity multidisciplinary design optimization to support wind turbine rotor design. During the Atlantis project, we developed a full aerostructural model of the DTU 10 MW benchmark rotor, combining aerodynamic meshes from previously validated aerodynamic shape optimization studies with a structural model built from scratch for this study. Following that, we proceeded to enable and perform high fidelity aerostructural optimization using more than 100 structural and geometrical design variables. Finally, we have an active collaboration with the Brigham Young University team to extend the tool capabilities beyond the steady state inflow conditions and include life cycles considerations in the optimization process. In this short video, I will first give an overview of our modeling capabilities, discussing the software details and its underlying assumptions. Then I will cover the optimization problem formulation more in detail, discussing the objective, design variables and constraints. I will present a set of optimization results that showcase the capabilities of our tool and highlight the necessity of high fidelity coupled modules for design optimization before concluding with some remarks on ongoing and future developments. Our work is based on MAR, a high fidelity aerostructural optimization framework originally developed at the MDO lab for aeronautical applications. In this project, we extended its capabilities to handle a full wind turbine rotor aerostructural model. The diagram in this slide illustrates the components of this framework. We have separate software modules that enable geometry manipulation via freeform deformation approach, a mesh deformation algorithm to propagate the geometry updates to the volume mesh, and the coupled aerostructural solver. We use PyOps parse to wrap SNOPT and manage the information flow between the optimizer and the other framework models. In the aerostructural analysis block, we couple our RAN solver AD flow and our finite element solver TAX using a conservative and consistent load displacement transfer module. We use a gauss seidel algorithm to converge the two solvers until a steady state aeroelastic solution is obtained. A key feature of this module is that it also provides couple system sensitivities with respect to the design variables using the agent method. The computational cost of the agent solver does not scale with the number of design variables, enabling us to efficiently perform high fidelity optimization with hundreds of structural, aerodynamic, and geometrical design variables. The optimization studies we discuss in this presentation use the DTU 10 MW turbine rotor as initial design. More detailed information on the coupled model, its numerical verification, and computational cost is provided in the paper we presented at the 2022 AIAA SIDA conference. The standalone high fidelity framework is characterized by some underlying assumptions. In the first place, our analysis is limited to the sole steady state aerostatic response. An unsteady approach is not implemented in MAC yet and will quickly become a numerically intractable among other issues. Moreover, we only consider the turbine rotor design ignoring the mutual interaction between the rotor itself and the rest of the turbine. Conventional design tools use multi-body formulations to account for the structural response of the entire structure. The methodology we propose does not aim at replacing such tools, but rather complement them, offering high design insight on system components. Unsteady and extreme loads are driving factors in the sizing of wind turbines. Although our framework has been extensively used for multi-point optimization problems, the results presented in this video consider a single inflow condition, representative of the turbine power output. We collaborated with Brigham Young University team to address this design concern, proposing a methodology to include extreme and fatigue loads obtained with conventional tools within the high fidelity approach we discuss in the present work. This approach is discussed in detail in the paper highlighted at the bottom of the slide.
The table in this slide summarizes the optimization problem formulation for the following studies. The selection of a single turbine component and inflow condition simplifies the efficiency and cost metrics to torque and rotor mass respectively. We consider these functions both individually and linearly combined in the optimization objective. In total, we have 117 independent structural design variables. For the full MGO studies, we also include seven geometric design variables to modify the spanwise twist distribution. To ensure the structural feasibility of the optimized rotor, we enforce both stress constraints based on the von Mises criterion and maximum tip displacement constraints. These functions are evaluated element-wise and then aggregated over the blade components using the Kresslheimer Stenhauser formulation. This reduces the number of output functions and ensures their smoothness for optimization purposes. Note that for mass minimization problems, torque is included as a constraint rather than as an objective. We first present our preliminary sizing approach based on a loosely coupled optimization strategy. We run a sequence of structural design optimizations with frozen aerodynamic loads. These loads are updated between different optimizations using a standalone multidisciplinary analysis of the rotor with the updated structural layout. In this way, we partially account for the coupling between structural displacement and altered load distribution over the blades. Although less accurate, this approach is also less implementation heavy while still providing relevant design intuition to engineers. We are able to estimate the effects of the different parameterizations and material properties on the thickness distribution and quantify the impact of the displacement constraint on the final mass of the rotor. For example, in the picture here on the right, we observe how the more conservative constraint enforced on the composite model increases its optimized weight when compared to its isotropic counterparts. We use the results of these loosely coupled optimizations as a starting point for a structural sizing of the rotor using the coupled or structural model. For this set of results, we only use structural design variables and enforce a torque and a displacement constraint. The loosening of the two constraints enables us to explore the effects of blade flexibility and target torque on the final design. The rightmost design in the orange line refers to an optimization that, with respect to the initial point, maintains the same initial torque and allows for a 5% increase in maximum tip displacement. The optimizer is able to further reduce the mass of the rotor by 9.1% compared to the loosely coupled approach. Focusing on the blue line, it stands out how even when we allow no increase in the tip displacement and maintain the same torque, the optimizer is still able to reduce the mass by more than 4%. The key message of this optimization study is that the use of the coupled model leads to quantifiable benefits compared to the simpler, loosely coupled approach. Finally, we include both structural and geometrical design variables in the optimization formulation and consider a linear combination of torque and mass in the objective function. This approach enables engineers to explore different design trade-offs that might depend on technological and economical considerations on the cost of energy models. Although more detailed result discussions is necessary to appreciate the design differences and select the most suitable design configuration, the impact of the objective coefficients on the final design has an intuitive explanation. If the mass is a small or zero weight in the objective, the optimizer will prioritize the aerodynamic efficiency and thus torque maximization. This might result in additional mass on the final rotor to ensure the structural feasibility under heavier loads and lower tip displacement. Conversely, when for example torque and mass are equally weighted, the optimizer is able to simultaneously improve the aerodynamic performance of the rotor and reduce its total mass. In conclusion, our work within the Atlantis project demonstrates that high-fidelity gradient-based optimization can be effectively used to improve the performance of wind turbine rotors and identify design trends to reduce the levelized cost of energy of wind power. Our main research effort now focuses on extending our optimization studies to more complex cases using a broader range of geometrical design variables that include cord, thickness, sweep, and pre-band. We expect the optimizer to leverage on the extended design space to further improve objective cost and efficiency metrics. We are also developing a more refined composite model that will enable the inclusion of fly angles as design variables in the problem formulation. The high fidelity optimization capabilities are integrated in the software toolbox developed by the entire team, named Open Turbine Code. Our latest features will be integrated in the mixed fidelity framework developed with the BYU team to design extreme loads and fatigue compliant rotor design. Before closing, we would like to thank Professor Mario Garcia Sanz for the opportunity to participate in the Atlantis program. Special thanks to Dr. Dylan Temple, Dr. Carlos Noyes, Madeline De Freitas, Michael Olson, and the entire Atlantis team for their support.
For questions related to the presentation, please use the contact shown. For questions related to the overall project and our technology to market activities, please contact the PI at the address shown. Thank you for attending my talk and please check out other technical presentations in our booth.